All right, we'll go ahead and get started with Arizona's portion of the press conference. We're joined by head coach Caitlin Lowe, Devin Nitz, and Carly Scoopin will be the student athletes. Uh, we'll get started with an uh, opening statement from the coach. We'll take questions for the student athletes next. First off, I just want to say congrats to Mississippi State on an amazing season. And, you know, people have been asking me how our time in Starkville has been, and every single person we've met along the way has been amazing and accommodating and just, just great people here and a great thing they have going on with their softball team and you know they they fought till the very end same with yesterday and um, just so very proud of this group their resiliency um, we have been punched in the gut a couple times this year and they just kept choosing each other um, and fighting through and, and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and I'm just so very proud of their work today and Devin Nett's just tough as nails absolutely tough as nails today same thing with Hannah Bowen yesterday and I thought Scoop came big came up big with um, just that spark that we needed to get our bats going so all around great team win and and defensively I thought we started off a little bit shaky but man some some crucial double plays when we needed them so um, just so so proud of our team's fight this whole week do we have any questions from the room all right we'll go to zoom we'll start off with Javier We're going to take questions from the student athletes first, Javier. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. We're, we're taking questions from the student athletes first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, who are the student athletes up there? Uh, Devin Nets and Carly Scoopin. At first, I kind of felt a little bit shaky, a little kind of let the crowd get to me. And um, I kind of had to focus on Char and focus on my teammates. And at first, it was, it was a little hard. But once I got through the first four innings and my team picked me up, it was super helpful. And um, I kind of knew that I had them and they had me. So, yeah. All right. Go to Troy. Um, that helps me throw less pitches, you know, and, you know, lets them show off their skills and what they've been working on all year. But we have a phenomenal defense, and I was so proud of them for stepping up and coming through. And not only does it help me, but it helps them get to the plate and knock in some runs. And what are some of the things that Coach uh, Darren Bowen will do in terms of helping you calm down out there in the circle? Because after those first couple innings, it seemed like you really locked in. You know, for her, it's um, – it's her coming out there and telling me to breathe and um, focus on like my catcher and just focus on like the little things one pitch at a time. But every time she's come out here during postseason, it's been Devin, just breathe, just calm down, you'll be fine, just settle in, it'll be okay. All right, next we'll go to PJ Brown. Yeah, um, I think we definitely came in today knowing we didn't want to go to a game three. We definitely wanted to get this win and make our statement. Um, and I think Devin really set the tone for us. Like, she kept their offense down and she gave us the opportunity to really get in the box and score our runs that we needed to. And we knew she was going to keep us in the game. So it, it lets us be comfortable at the plate. Next, we'll go to Kim Doss. Yeah, um, well, my at-bats leading up to it, I wasn't very happy with my at-bats um, this weekend, and I kind of knew I was due, and I had to do something for Devin because she was pitching a great game. So I was just focusing on seeing my pitch in it. Go to David Kelly. Hey, for both of Devin and Carly, what 
both just kind of describe how hard it is to turn a double play in the softball just because of the shortness of the, the field and the bases on the infield? Right. Devin, you want to take that first? Um, I'd say it's honestly pretty extremely hard because this game is so quick and we're taught at a fast pace to move the ball quick and you know keep the ball moving around but to have three in one game is phenomenal and I'm so proud of my defense because they work so hard all year long so yeah got to give a lot of credit to our middle infielders they make it look easy <laughs> mm -hmm. got a follow-up from Javier Um, it definitely means a lot. Um, it's been our goal since day one, and I'm glad that we were able to put it together, and I'm proud of all of us. We'll go back to Troy. This is for Devin and Carly. Uh, you don't want to be to answer this. When you look back throughout the season, and you think about starting voting in the back ball, and now you're here at this moment going to the Women's College World Series, what does that mean to you guys? Carly, you want to take that? Sure. Um, I think it means a lot, especially with um, how much we struggled in the beginning of the season, especially with our little, uh, little big losing streak in pack play. <laughs> but um, I think as a team, like we were able to get past that. We obviously learned a lot from it, but we're really just focusing on being present and doing what we can do now. So. All right. Got a follow up from PJ. Um, I think during that time, she really um, led us and never let us uh, like lose hope, I guess you could say. Um, we had to really stay focused through that time, and it was really tough for all of us, but I think that she was definitely our leader during that time, and she taught us a lot, and um, I think it's paying off now, so we're very excited and happy. Devin, do you have anything to add? Yeah. Um, I think there's this one instance in the season where we were going through that losing streak, and I think all of us had our one-on-one -on -one meetings with Kate just to, you know, try to help fix, like, what was going on, you know, and it just everything we were doing in practice seemed great, and it looked phenomenal, but, you know, putting it all together in a game was so tough, and um, we all had our meetings with her, and each, each time she told each one of us, you guys need to talk to each other, you guys need to look to each other, you guys need to build off of one another and encourage one another and that was something that I think we really had to work hard on as a team and in the end it really paid off even though we went through a rock bottom I'll tell you that <laughs> but it was so worth it now. All right, We'll go back to David Kelly. Devin, you want to try that? So in the bullpen, I remember this was right after we finished uh, against Stanford. And yeah, it kind of sucked that we came off that. But um, Coach T was talking to us, and she said, you know, this is the best part of um, season. And I was like, what do you mean? We just had a losing season in Pac-12. Like, it was horrible. She said, no, everyone has a clean slate. And I think that was the best way to put it, is that everyone, every team, Every player, every coach has a clean slate, and I think that's what really helped us go into this. Carly, do you have anything to add? Um, I was just going to say that as a team, I think that moment for us was when we watched the selection show as a team at Kate's house. Um, we all got the results as a team, and I think at that moment we all, when we heard where we were going, we all kind of decided that it's a new season and we want to you know, take ownership of our new season and make it what we want it. So. All right. Do we have any more questions for the players on uh, Zoom? Not seeing anything. You ladies are excused. Congratulations. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You. All right. We'll take co uh, questions from Coach. Anyone in the room have any questions? Danny P. 
Danny Smith, Starfield Daily News. Coach, uh, Mia Davison's had a great career at Mississippi State. Just And y'all pitched her well. She had the home run yesterday, but you really pitched her well this weekend. Just talk about the respect you had for her coming in and what do you think about her as a player? Well, I made sure to grab her after today because her freshman year she came to Tucson, actually, and I knew how special she was going to be from that first day playing them. And <laughs> she's someone you have to be extremely careful with. And the tough part about that is when you pitch around someone and then you do have to throw them a strike, it gets even more dangerous. So, um, you know, more than anything, more than her stats, she's a great player. She plays the game the right way and she goes hard all the time. Um, you know, she was busting down the line to be safe on that ground ball, too. It's just she plays the game the right way, breaks fall her way, and um, just what a great person. And I had to congratulate her on a great career because, you know, she's, a, she's really a joy to watch play. Any more questions in the room? All right, we'll go to Zoom. Uh, we'll start off with Javier. It's, it's everything. I think watching, I think now I understand, you know, watching from the dugout, watching them celebrate and just everything that goes into a season. It's a lot. And, um, you know, for, for that moment to kind of come to head and um, just realize everything that they've put into it and seeing, you know, I talked to Shar and, you know, having her in my office in March and just like seeing the face and just always knowing the light at the end of the tunnel because we knew how good we were. We knew how good we were at practice and, you know, not a lot of people saw it and we had to choose each other and believe that we were going to get it done. And, and it was 18 of us plus staff, but, but we figured out a way. And I think that's what makes me the most proud is that they didn't give up on each other. All right, next we'll go to Troy. Well, let me, let me talk about yesterday because Janelle gets on base and then strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. Two, three, four. Strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. And that could have controlled the whole weekend, and it just doesn't. You know, our whole goal was to chip away um, the best we could. And for Char, Skaggs, and, and Pacho to have those type of at-bats, and then at the end of the game yesterday, sack fly, home run, home run. That, to me, shows maturity. So, yeah, maybe we didn't get it done in the beginning of the game, but they chipped away every single inning to make sure they got the job done. All right, we'll go to PJ next. Well, it makes me feel like I'm not crazy, that's for sure. I just think that we saw it. We saw it every single day, and, and I wish you could have seen our fall every single day. And um, it was putting it together, and we had to get rid of a lot of things, you know. We had to get rid of expectations and trying to be someone who we weren't. And, you know, we've got 18 perfectionists on this team, and, you know, they decided to surround themselves with each other instead of worrying about their own performances. And... Um, you know, it's, it's a very unselfish thing, but they want to be the best for their team, and they decided to lean on each other um, for the last few weeks. And, and I do believe um, exactly what Devin said, the selection show and them having hope for that chance. We have a chance, and we're not ready to be done yet. And the way they responded, um, you know, you just knew that they were going to be on a tear. Next we'll go to David Kelly. No, actually, I hope they remember that season for the rest of their lives because I think it made us into who we are today. I think the hard makes you 
makes it sweeter, yes, but, but we remember those times and we remember the 0-6 start and we remember the conversation after that game because that's what made us into who we are today. And if we breeze through the season, I don't know that we're standing here right now. I just really don't. I think they're tougher. I think um, they're closer. Um, and I think they're more confident going into uh, the World Series now. Next, we'll go to Kim. It's actually not reviewable. It's reviewable if they say it's fair and then it turns to foul, but not the other way. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. Trust me, <laughs> I would have tried. <laughs> All right, does anybody else have any uh, questions, Javier? And you know what I noticed today was Bo was giving feedback, you know, to the offense and, and everybody was in it. Everybody was in it every pitch and doing their part and she didn't even have the ball in her hand and she was trying to help in any way she could. And um, I think that's been the story of the last couple of weeks is everyone doing their part, invested in every single pitch. And um, they might have felt nervous in the beginning, but they're tough. They're tough, and then they realize they've got a great defense behind them. And, and truly, I know I mentioned it yesterday, I, I believe that our pitching is feeding into our defense and our defense into our offense, and um, I think we're pretty dangerous when that happens. Go to David. Hey, Kaylin, I on your TV interview, you indicated that you guys are going to go straight to Oklahoma <laughs> City. Is that correct? Yes, we're not going home. Sorry. <laughs> kind of give us an indication of what your schedule will be then kind of the next few uh, we might stay here for a day or two, get some workouts in. Either way, we're going to get some good practices in before we start. Usually the uh, practices and press conferences start on Wednesday there.